numbering systems, decoding the enigma of coding teeth. Did you know that sharks have an infinite number of teeth? Yes, they have a biological mechanism such that if a tooth is lost, the jaw allows another one to replace it an infinite number of times. However, the same is not true for humans. Pop quiz As humans, we have two sets of teeth, 20 deciduous or milk teeth and 32 permanent teeth. Sharks, however, have an infinite number of sets of teeth. Let us see how we can categorize permanent and deciduous dentition. Permanent dentition is distributed across four categories, eight incisors, four canines, eight premolars and twelve molars. Deciduous dentition has eight incisors, four canines and eight molars. As dentists, we deal with teeth and teeth-related problems. To make sure that the correct treatment is rendered, the tooth of interest needs to be accurately communicated to colleagues and laboratories. However, the identification of a specific tooth can be complex as shown in this image. To overcome this challenge, dental professionals employ a standardized tooth numbering and notation system, which provide a unique alphanumeric code for each tooth, specifying its location within the oral cavity. The various tooth numbering systems used worldwide are the Universal System, the Zygmondi or Palmer Notation System, and the FDI System. Let's understand them in detail. In 1947, a committee within the American Dental Association or ADA officially endorsed the symbolic system called the Zygmondi or Palmer Notation System as the preferred method for numbering teeth. The Palmer's Dental Notation was named after the 19th century American dentist Dr. Corridon Palmer from Warren, Ohio. This system was developed by Dr. Palmer as a means of simplifying tooth notation for dental professionals. It consists of different L-shaped symbols indicating the quadrant in which the tooth is found, and a number indicating the position from the midline. In 1861, Adolf Zygmondi from Vienna introduced the Zygmondi cross to record the quadrants of tooth position. Later, in 1874, it was adapted and modified to accommodate the primary dentition. In this system, the arches are divided into four quadrants, the upper right and left quadrants and the lower right and left quadrants. In the permanent dentition, the teeth are numbered sequentially from 1 to 8 in each quadrant, starting with the central incisors and ending with the third molars. While in the primary or deciduous dentition, an alphabetical notation system is used. Uppercase letters from A to E are assigned, starting with the primary central incisor and proceeding backward to the primary second molars. Nevertheless, due to the challenges associated with entering symbolic notations using standard keyboards, the American Dental Association, or ADA, made an official modification in 1968. They endorsed the universal numbering system as a practical alternative, a system that doesn't need any symbols to represent the quadrants.
It is one of the most widely recognized tooth numbering systems where a unique number is assigned to each tooth. In primary dentition, uppercase letters from A to T are used. It follows a clockwise sequence starting with the right maxillary second molar denoted by the letter A. It then continues towards the left maxillary second molar to the left mandibular second molar and finally concludes at the right mandibular second molar represented by the letter T. The permanent dentition is numbered in the same sequence from 1 to 32, where the number 1 denotes the right maxillary third molar and the number 32 denotes the right mandibular third molar. Pop quiz Next, let's discuss the third type of tooth numbering system. The Federazione Dentea Intonazionale, or FDI, introduced a two-digit tooth notation system in 1971 that has gained acceptance from organizations like the World Health Organization and the International Association for Dental Research. In this system, the first digit indicates the quadrant and the second indicates the tooth number. In the primary dentition, the quadrants are numbered 5 to 8 in a clockwise manner. Maxillary right, maxillary left, mandibular left and mandibular right quadrants. The teeth in each quadrant are numbered 1 to 5 starting from the midline. For instance, in this system, the number 51 corresponds to the deciduous maxillary right central incisor. In the permanent dentition, the quadrants are indicated by the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. And the teeth in each quadrant are numbered from 1 to 8. The FDI system is the most widely accepted system all around the world as it is the best for verbal communication and even for visual sense. Here is another question. What tooth does the notation plus 5 represent? A. Maxillary right second premolar B. Mandibular right second premolar C. Maxillary left second premolar D. Mandibular right second premolar The correct answer is option A. Maxillary right second premolar In 1891, Victor Haderip from Denmark introduced a modified version of the 8 tooth quadrant system which incorporated the use of plus and minus symbols to distinguish between upper and lower quadrants as well as right and left quadrants. In this system, a notation like plus one signifies the upper left central incisor, while one minus represents the lower right central incisor. For primary teeth, the numbering was structured as follows. Upper right from 0, 05 plus to 0, 01 plus and lower left from minus 0, 01 to minus 0, 05. It's worth noting that this system continues to be taught in Denmark. We hope this video helped you understand the numbering system used for teeth. This information is useful for communication 
and documentation in clinical practice. With that, we come to the end of this video. We hope you had fun learning with us.